हेलो फ्रेंड मैं हूं आपका दोस्त एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज वर्जन कंट्रोल सो दिस आर द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ वर्जन कंट्रोल वन इज व्हाट इज वर्जन कंट्रोल लेटर वी विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाई डू वी नीड वर्जन कंट्रोल सिस्टम देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट वर्जन कंट्रोल टाइप्स एंड देन लेटर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ वर्जन कंट्रोल why we should use version control in our infrastructure and then i'll talk about the tools which will let let you use the service of version control so friend so here are the some examples which i have taken here some of the points that i'll elaborate here let's talk about the first point about version control version control is a system that records changes to a file or a set of files codes over time so that you can recall specific versions later means like let's say that some of the developers are working on the call code or you're working on the files or you're working on a shell script or you are working on some file which is very important so sometimes what happen like you need to keep the copy of your file so in that situation what you do you can use the version control systems and it will keep the version i mean it will keep the copy of your uh, original file so that you can recover if something goes wrong i mean some if sometimes it has been deleted then you can recover it back the next option is like the next point of version control system is if you are if you are a graphic or a web designer and want to keep every version of an Im- of an image or a layout then it allows you to revert files back to a previous system i mean state revert the entire project back to the previous state compare changes over time see who last modified something that might be causing a problem so this way like it will track or it will keep all the information about the files update files modifications file adding file delete so this way if something like if something happened wrong so this will give you the all information that you can take it back or you can recover it back in the previous state all right so uh, here are some exa- uh, i mean diagrams which have been taken from the web and uh, uh, this may clear your picture in your mind so see that uh, see like you don't have any like server like you have make your own laptop you you make your own desktop as a uh, repository i mean you create a folder and you copy the file from one location to another location and this way you keep multiple version of your file here like you have a single file and you have keep version of i mean you keep multiple copy of this file like version 1 version 2 version 3 so this way what happen like you keep three copies i mean three versions copies of your original file so in that situation if something happen then you can recover this file i mean version 1 version 2 types of file you can recover back but friend sometimes what happen like you are uh, willing to change you are willing to some uh, do some modification in version 2 file and uh, uh but but mistake but by mistake you have changed version 3 so this way this way if something goes wrong then you are not capable to take it back okay so you have to like you have to take version control like you will lost your version control i mean version 3 file okay so in like take an uh, another example of version version means like let's say uh, you are working in some applications first we have uh, prepared some application software so that will be a, a let's suppose that will be a beta version so beta so version 1 let's suppose it's a beta version is a version 1 Net, later on version 1 became a stable version and you're working on version 2 so this will be a development i mean under developing version i mean under developing copy of us of i mean project or codes so in that situation like something like you want to change in version 1 and you would change by mistake on version 3 so this way what happen like it will not uh, it will not give you s- options to take it back to revert it back so so that's why the version control is very important in it infrastructure for developers for everyone who is working in it infrastructure or they want to make their file safe and secure right 
So before talking about types of version control, uh, let's discuss why we need version control in our infrastructure. Just take an example, like in previous section, what was happening? Like, let's take an example, a, a very small example. Uh, you have a FTP server or you have a Samba server. I mean, a, I mean a space where you have put your Excel file. Okay, so once you open an Excel file, at the same time, only one person, I mean, who has opened that file first, that person is capable to change that file only. Let's say if your teammate want to do some change in Excel file, they have to wait until you stop working on that file. Okay. So if you, once you stop working on that file, your another teammate will start working on that. Let's suppose there are multiple users are working on that file. So one person will work at a time and another will wait for him to finish. I mean, so like, you can understand like what are the sequences are being make here like are being a hold here like one is working and another like another one is sitting uh, like comfortably and he's waiting that person to be stopped okay so this way like this way the the thought has came in market and people has made the technology which is called version control so this way at the same time you can work on a single file many people can work Many people can modify or later they can merge those changes into a single location. Okay. So that, that version control power, that version control uh, capability. Okay. So I hope that you would have understanding about like what is version control and why you are using version control in your infrastructure and who can utilize version control in their infrastructures. Okay. So till now we have talked a lot. Now let's see what are the types of version controls. Nowadays, like you can see, like there are two types of version control. One is centralized version control, and second one is distributed version control. So let's start with the centralized version control. Okay. Uh, I hope that you are making like I'm making you understand. So uh, the centralized version control is like. Like the main difference of these two classes are like centralized VCS, I mean version control systems, keep the history of changes on a central server from which everyone requests the latest version of the work and pushes the latest changes. I mean, there is one person is standing, okay, and uh, he's, he's at the central locations and two people came together and, uh, and want to keep the copy of that file. So he sh gave the file to that central person and the central person will be responsible for sharing the file in between two. Okay. So in that situation, like everyone is working. I mean, uh, taking another example, like in a company, like uh, there is a project and there will be a team leader. So the team leader will be, uh, will be able to distribute modules or the file, uh, code files to every uh, developers to work on okay so what happened like that every developer will work and he he will share that a uh, code with the team leader so he will be the central point central point where all developer is going to store their modification adding or deletion of the files okay so in that situation those kind of situation is called centralized version control okay so for having the more and like to have the more understanding about the version uh, centralized version control uh, we can see the example of here like this is the central server and all the history i mean all logs all files history and information will held on centralized server or developer and developer a and developer b will be working on that file if he has to take anything he will contact to central server hey contract uh, central server i need this file I need the version, I need these logs, so just give me back. So developer will be requesting for any changes, for any updates or for any commits. So in, in that situation what happened? Like everything is being managed on central server and developers are, are requesting for any changes to the central servers. So this way centralized servers work, correct? Okay, so let's move to the distributed version control. 
So guys, the distributed version controls now like the problems what have what was the problem with the centralized location uh, centralized uh, centralized uh, what what I was saying centralized uh, version control. So the different like if the team leader is not there, I mean you can say that if the team leader is not there, a developer will be not able to request. They they will not able to re give uh, like generate the request for any update for any changes for any modifications. I mean there will be a single point of failure. If central server has gone, I mean he is dead, then no developer will be able to get the logs or get the history or get the request from the server to update the files. Correct. So that's why the distributed version control in the market and he has been surrounded with the very good benefits so what are the benefits is there there is no benefits actually <laughs> I mean everyone has a local copy of the entire works history I mean developer 1 developer 2 developer 3 they are working on the code and they they will be responsible for taking care of their codes okay so they will keep the local repository and their system environment right this means that it is a not necess it is not necessary to to be online to change revisions or add changes to the work i mean for the centralized version control you have to be online but here in distributed version control like if you are working from home or you are you are you are on leave and trying to add some uh, code or trying to some do uh, trying to do some modification into the file or codes so in that situation what happened like you can uh, utilize distributed version control and it will help you to uh, write the code independently and then come back after seven days after five days and merge your code with the existing code or with the existing developers codes so this will make you very happy you don't have to be online this will work in offline systems right so uh, for the better understanding you can take this example so in these examples what what is happening like like these are the developers working and they are having like they have their own repository and they have their own working copy and if they are making any request for the update or commit so they are doing locally now once they they have they are done with the local systems they will push or pull repository to the central server so i'm not saying that there will not be any central server there will be central server in distributed version control but but if central but we are removing single point of failure okay if central server has down then everyone will have their own code and they can share each other and they can work okay so this way like if if this repository has been deleted or central server has been deleted we can take it back this server and then we can push a uh, code from any of the developer systems so this server will have again the same copy that it was previously so this way we can under, we can say that distributed version control is better than uh, centralized version control so it depends on your requirement like what kind of requirement you have so if you have a requirement then you can use centralized version control or you if, if you have a requirement I mean work scenario then you can go for this distributed version control this is up to you okay I hope I had made you I have made you understand about version control and their types right now let's talk about the benefits which is very important okay so without benefits knowing nobody is going to use version control all right so here I have mentioned two version control benefits but there can be more you can make your own point but I have two points to share with you guys so one is version tracking and second one is coordinating teams what is version tracking basically like developers may wish to compare today's version of some software with yesterday's version or last year's versions since version control systems keep track of every version of the software so this becomes a straightforward task so what what a straightforward task is like you can recover your copy if whatever copy you have worked in a pre previous days previous years so this way you can recover uh, with the version control systems you can recover your file no matter when you have to work but if you want to recover those data it will be uh, it will be your call 
or it will help you to recover your previous data. Second one is coordinating teams. Coordinating team means like our resources like development is usually carried out by teams either co-located or distributed. Version control is a central to coordinate teams of the contributors. It lets one contributor to work on a copy of the resources and then release their changes back to the common core when ready. So this way like you can uh, co like many developers can work together and they can make their own modules and uh, they can make their code for them for their own modules and they can merge those modules together so this makes teams to work together and they ask uh, and the uh, like version control gives you the facility that you can coordinate like the co uh, teams can be coordinated for the codes and for the uh, checkouts right now the last point is tools what kind of tools can give you a vcs i mean version control system services so here is this here is some list here are some list and there can be more but these are the important tools which is being used in into the market like svn git perforce google code code commit so a lot of tools are there in, into the market but these tools are being used or i have used more you can say that so this these tools you can use to uh, get the version control service so friend uh, these are the these are the version control uh, uh, these are, uh, this is all about the version controls so uh, now we have came to know about version controls and its benefits and when we can use the version controls so that's it for today's class uh, in the next class I'm going to put practical of version control I'm going to use SVN or Git to make you more like to make you more understanding about the version control and how it works so my dear friend don't forget to subscribe or like like this video so that we can improve more and more thank you very much for watching this video